Hey guys, so signage mod seems stable enough at this point in time where I feel comfortable flashing onto my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So um, obviously you will want to back everything up. If you are not already rooted, uh, you might want to find a different way of backing up besides titanium backup, which is something I prefer to use, which is a nice backup utility. But if you're not rooted, uh, just go ahead and I guess copy all your files, sync everything in the cloud or however you want to do it. Just back it up as uh, however you can. And uh, let's get started. You're going to need the Nexus 4 toolkit. You will need the one of the nightly builds, whichever one is the latest. Uh, I'll put the link in the description so you can get that. And you will need G Apps, which is the Google Apps uh, to get you to get you to the Play Store. So you're going to need those three things. And of course, you're going to need USB. So make sure you have one handy. So first off, we're going to connect uh, the phone to the PC, like so. And uh, we should get like a notification. Okay, it is connected and we're going to drag the files onto the phone. So as you can see, I got the files right here. These are the two files you're going to need. Um, yours, your numbers might be different for the signage mod, but that is because that's probably a different update since I've made this video. So right here, I have my Nexus 4 folder and right here I have my uh, folder with the files in it and we're just going to drag and drop right onto the root directory of the Nexus 4. All right, so this next part is going to be in the toolkit. Uh, you just have to go and download it from uh, the website. I will have it linked in the description. And you want to make sure you have the drivers installed. And once you have that, you could uh, go ahead and open it. You should see some sort of uh, random numbers and letters over here, which uh, signifies that your device has been recognized. If you don't see anything there, you might want to install the drivers again or um, yeah, it's probably not being recognized properly. So go ahead and do that. Now this next step requires you to have an unlocked bootloader, a rooted device, and clockwork recovery mod on your device. So if you have not done that, I will put a link in the description and show you how to do that using the toolkit. It's really straightforward. The options are right here. Just follow the on-screen instructions and it will be easy peasy for you. So I'm going to go ahead and not waste any more time and show you the next step after you have unlocked your bootloader, rooted your device, and installed clockwork recovery mod. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my phone, and uh, we're going to go into uh, recovery mode here. And to do that with the Nexus 4, you hold power or the volume up and down, along with the power, and we should get it going here. I have a case on, so I have to press really hard. Hopefully, you're doing it without, without a case, so let's see what happens here. All right, so over here, just go to recovery mode, hit the power button, and this is what your clockwork recovery mod should look like. So um, once again, make sure you back up everything. There's even a backup option in here, which I highly recommend. Okay, so once you're uh, backed up and ready to go, uh, we can continue doing this. Um, I will warn you once again that you will lose everything that is on your phone. So, because we're going to do a factory wipe right now, and that is mandatory. You cannot go around that. So let's go right into this. Now, if you remember, we put those two files on our phone already, so we should be good to go in that case. So we're going to start off doing a factory wipe. Wipe all data. Shouldn't take very long at all. Okay, we're going to do uh, wipe the cache partition, go to advanced, and wipe the Delta cache. And that was very fast. Okay, so now we're going to go here, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And this is our root directory, this zero with a forward slash or backslash, I'm not sure, forward slash probably. Go down, and we should see the zip file. Here it is. So let me get a closer look on that. See where it says CM 10.1? Um, that is pretty much it. Your numbers might be different because you might have a newer update or something. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click that and install it. Okay, so now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and go back to choose zip from SD. Go to go back to the root directory and we're going to install the G apps. So you need this to uh, have access to the Google Play Store. So make sure that you get it. So G apps, install. There we go. So we're going to go back and reboot the system. So far, that's a good sign. And next up, we should see the signage mod loading screen. There it is. So I'm going to fast forward this part and we're going to go right into the at the first boot so you guys can see that it is in fact signage and mod and there we have it 
Of course, it's going to give you the setup screen because it thinks, uh, you know, it's the first time you're loading in, which is kind of true. And uh, I'll go ahead and type in this information real quick. Okay, and here we are at the first uh, time we're seeing the desktop. So let's open the apps. Okay. Let's go into our settings. About phone. And there you go. Sign in Jamad all over the place. And if we go here to uh, the build version, you could see it says Sign in Jamad version, etc., etc. So, yeah, there we have it. That's really as easy as it gets. You could do this with any ROM, just flash whatever ROM you want instead of Sign in Jamad. And make sure to have uh, backups just in case uh, you want to revert back and not lose any information. So, yeah, hope this helped. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them and I'll help you to the best of my ability. Thanks again. Bye.